Welcome to the Love Unlimited Church Prayer and Fast. My name is Mark Rodriguez. I'm the pastor of the church, and I just want to thank you for joining us on this spiritual journey where our desire is to draw closer to Jesus. And speaking of that, day one is spiritual growth. And so today, I want to encourage you to grow spiritually, to use these 21 days to draw closer to Jesus. And why are we fasting? The reason that we're fasting and we're giving up something that we consume through our mouth, okay? That's the type of fast fast that we're doing. It's either something that you drink, like you don't see him, but uh, Jason is in this room and he's fasting coffee. And, And I'm like, are you serious? How could you do that for 21 days? So all of us have decided to give up something in this season of fasting. And so I want to encourage you to pick something that you can fast. And if you're wondering why, the reason why is that every time our flesh craves for that thing, it should draw us to prayer. It should draw us to spend more time with Jesus. And so that's the purpose of the fast. And so today we want to talk about spiritual growth. The Bible says this in James chapter 4, verse 8, draw near to God and he will draw near to you. Sometimes we wonder, where is God? Why isn't God here? Well, the Bible says that God is the same yesterday, today, and forever. He never changes. He is omnipresent. He is there ready to meet our needs. But the reason why that sometimes we feel that God is not near, it's because we are not drawing near to Him. Have you ever bumped into a friend that you went to high school with, right? Maybe you graduated 10 years ago, and you bump into someone at a supermarket or at the mall, and you start talking to them, and in your head, you're thinking, man, this guy hasn't changed. He's still wearing the same kind of clothes. He's still talking the same. He still has the same mullet that he had when he was in high school. Nothing has changed, and what was cool when you were in 11th, 12th grade, maybe first couple years of college, now as an adult is no longer cool. It's kind of weird. You haven't changed. Well, I think that a lot of us as Christians, we give our lives to Jesus, We start uh, creating some type of spiritual habits, but we stop. And years go by and we say, hey, I've been a Christian for 10 years. And it's more like you've been a Christian 10 times for one year because many things in our lives don't change. And I'm not saying this to make you feel guilty. I am saying this to encourage you. Let's use these 21 days to draw closer to Jesus and grow spiritually. And I'm gonna be praying for you as your pastor, as your guide in these next couple of days. And if there is any way that I can personally serve you, if you have a prayer request that you'd like me to pray for, please, you can email me at mark at godlovesmiami.com and just share your prayer request, share whatever God is putting in your heart so that I can help you achieve spiritual growth in this season of prayer and fasting. Let's pray. God, I thank you for this day. Lord, I thank you that even though we change, even though, God, we draw away from you in seasons of life, you never change. You are constant. You love us. You forgive us. And right now, God, personally, I ask you for forgiveness for areas in my life that maybe I have not grown the way that I should grow. Lord, and that all of us today would make a conscious decision to draw closer to you, to sacrifice something in our life, that maybe we've been paying too much attention to in this season of prayer and fasting. We love you, God. Thank you for Love Unlimited. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you guys, and we'll see you on day two.